Hello, my dear students. This is Lina Abdullah, your IT teacher. Today, I'm going to introduce the, our entrepreneurial and image designing course, week one, to explain what we are going to cover this week. For this week, which is our first week, of course, we have certain activities uh, before we start our lessons to break down the eyes between each other, or let's say, to get familiar with each other, to know who is in the class and your classmate who they will spend the whole year with you, and of course, to get closer to your teacher. We have two different icebreakers we are going to do inside the class, which are human rock, paper, scissor, and hobbies and interest. We have two activities there. The first activity, all of the attendees at the event are competing against the lead facilitator at Rock, Paper, Scissors. Of course, it's a game. I'm sure you are familiar with it. Uh, by end of this game, we play it more than one time uh, until only one person is left standing and they are crowned the winner. So we have a nice activity at the beginning then we have the second activity which is interests and hobbies where each one of you has to write down or to tell about two interests and one hobby for each one of you then we try to create a group of students who they have the same interests and the same hobbies so we can share with each other what are the interests we have and what are the hobbies we have of course, by end of these two activities, we will notice that we are getting close to each other and we are more familiar with each other. And at that point, you can tell your classmates and your teacher what you want them to know about you. Maybe you would, maybe you want to talk about your summer vacation, maybe you want to talk about your old school, your new school, what you are planning to be in the future, and so on. Of course, as any IT course, we have some expectations, not only in the IT, in all other subjects. This expectation follows the school rules, where you have to be on time in the class and make sure that you have everything you need inside the class because you cannot go in and out more than one time. You have to respect your teachers, your classmates. You have to follow the teacher directions. You have to listen to her. Uh, you cannot refuse orders inside the class. Also, uh, the most important things, mobiles are not allowed in the, inside the class. And you have to make sure that even you keep your mobile inside your bag or you can put it with your teacher on the desk and take it by end of the class to make sure nothing will disturb you inside the class. After that, we will start with our first module in this course, which is image editing. And we start with section one, imaging concepts. In our first lesson, digital image uses, we, you will, we will identify the digital images concept and their uses and discuss the main key features of the digital images. By the end of the class, you will be able to identify common uses of digital images and recognize the main key feature of a digital image. And of course, I am sure you're all familiar with digital images nowadays. You have it in your mobile, you have it in your digital camera, your professional camera, all of them working under the concept of uh, digital images. And we will discuss more in our lessons. Uh, what are they, uh, how we can differentiate between what are the different format of digital images and more. In our second lesson, we talk about the key features of digital images, where we will understand the main key features of the digital image pixels and resolution. Pixels and resolution are something very important to know about in, uh, when we talk about the digital images, where you will find the pixels is the small tiny arrows where they are represent the picture in the computer. And the resolution, more pixels you are using, more resolution you will have. And we will see examples about that. You can see it in the video now, where you see this one, uh, this picture with high resolution and this one with low resolution. And here how the digital image is representing using pixels. And this is the old image, which are representing by 
uh, analog and they are called analog images. Then we'll talk about the file compression in our third lesson. Uh, of course, compression is an important technique in computer world, not only for pictures, even for files, to reduce their size. But uh, with digital image, we have two techniques, which they are looseless and loosey. We'll discuss both of them in details. Also, we will find the definition of each one of them, and we'll find out the differences between the uh, looseless and loosey digital data compression. Uh, this was the, uh, our video, introduction video for week one. I wish everything is clear and you have now a general idea about what we are going to do this week. Thank you.